Out of there again, folks. Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel, coming back at you with another offering off of my sampler platter. Uh, what is my sampler platter? Well, uh, if anyone is watching this and they haven't seen any of my other videos, this is a little show thing that I do where uh, I review uh, food and drink items and stuff like that. Usually they're new or gimmicky or at the very least I haven't tried them. Uh, you know, sometimes I highlight restaurants and stuff I like. Things like that. Uh, and I just try to give uh, an overview and then I tell stories and I go way too long on these videos. That's what this is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and for those of you who might actually watch my videos, uh, you know, with whatever regularity there might be, um, you might be thinking, oh, Brandon, he's wearing his work shirt. What does that mean? Maybe he's... Because sometimes... Uh, this is one of my work shirts. Uh, sometimes I will go over there and I will wear my work shirt specifically uh, if I'm going to be eating something that I'm worried about getting on one of my better shirts. Uh, but today, that is not the case. Today, this is just a lazy shirt. So you can actually see, you can see the freaking crap uh, paint and stuff from, uh, from me getting off work. You, you just, you cannot ever totally get rid of it. It's ingrained in my being now so uh with that being said uh what am i trying today what's the featured item today it's kind of a unique one folks um i mean generally speaking the items i do are pretty unique uh or at least kind of unique but this one's unique for the show so far um at least unless i post up anything else before this that might pertain to this but uh Sorry, my I have neighbors. Uh, they have chickens, um, and it's kind of adorable and also kind of annoying sometimes. But they're good people, so they can have as many chickens as they want. I'm I'm perfectly okay. That's not true. There is certainly a limit to the amount of chickens that I am cool with, just because at a certain point there are too many chickens. They are nowhere near that point, so I'm perfectly cool with the level of chickens that they have. Anyway, what is the uh, the item that I'm going to try. And why is it unique? Well, folks, boom! This is the item that I'm going to try. This is Pipeworks Brewing Co. Uh, brewed in Chicago, Illinois. Hooray! I live near there. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, if you live in the suburbs uh, like I do, you know damn well that if anybody asks where you live, you just probably say Chicago. Because it's way easier than trying to explain fucking that you live, you know, 30 minutes outside of Chicago in some fucking town. Um, anyway, yeah, the reason, uh, and this is called Pineapple Guppy. reason why this is kind of unique to my show uh, is that I, this, in, like I said, unless I post something up to, uh, before this one, which I'm not planning to, but I might, uh, this will be the first alcoholic thing that I've tried on my show. Um, I'm not huge on drinking. I really only drink socially and in very specific instances uh, when I'm at home. Uh, I do have like a small little, you know, cache of uh, drinking materials. Um, I've got some coffee rums. That's actually pretty good tasting. I always like to have a little brandy around. Um, I like brandy. Maybe because my name is Brandon. Sure, why not? Um, and I also always like to have some cheap vodka around. Uh, for medical reasons. I'm going to call them medical reasons. Uh, but occasionally I get like uh, sore throats and like stuff. Uh, congestion crap and everything. Because I have like allergies and asthma and stuff. Um, and I found that sometimes just taking like a shot of that. Letting it kind of sit there for a bit. I can just get some of that gunk out. So... Not saying that that's, like, actual, you know, medical uh, advice, but that's just a thing that I do sometimes, so. I swear I don't drink very much. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, why am I doing this, then? Well, I like pineapple stuff, folks. I really, really do. It's, like, one of my favorite things in the entire world. Uh, I've been a huge fan of pineapple juice and pretty much everything pineapple since I was very little. Um... Now, this is pale ale with pineapple. I will say, I am, like, I don't, like I said, I don't drink that often. 
but I'm not generally big on pale ales. I don't know why pale ales are like a big thing. At least for me, they do not taste that good. I have had a couple of good pale ales. Uh, one of them, uh, a friend of my dad uh, makes, uh, makes, made? I'm not sure if he still does. Um, but uh, that was actually pretty good because it was very mild. Uh, and then there was one that I had a while back, and that one was actually pretty solid too. So, um, I figured I would give this a shot. I mean, yeah, we'll see. Uh, for the records, I like darker uh, beers. Um, I like Guinness. Guinness is pretty solid. If I am drinking, I tend to go for darker beers. Though, depending on the company I'm with, uh, I will do also do like Heineken's and stuff like that too. So, um, But yeah, I figured I'll give this a shot. And... I don't, like, I, I usually like to tell a story uh, to go along with the item. I obviously don't have anything specifically for uh, for a pineapple pale ale, uh, but I will say, in my experience, I've only, I've only ever gone over there and, like, kind of uh, drunk past my limit, drank past my limit, uh, on two occasions, um... And in one of those occasions, the pale ale was involved. For whatever reason, pale ales, not, like I said, I don't really like the taste of them all that much. Uh, but for whatever reason, they really kick me in the head. And I don't know why. Because, like, I can drink hard liquor and stuff, uh, you know, not into excess. But I can drink that just fine. But pale ales and stuff like that, I don't know why. So, um, yeah, that's just a weird, Brandon Wenzel fun fact. Gotta do the taffy thing. It's like scientifically proven to be the best way to do this. Um, and let's see, does it have anything on here? Surgeon General warning, all that good stuff. I do like the artwork. It's very, you know, cool, cartoony stuff. It did its job of catching my eye. So, you know, there you go. Um, let's give this a shot. Easy. Yeah, this has been in my uh, been in my fridge for about a month now. <laughs> I it wasn't even that I've been like dreading it or anything like that. It's just been in there. Like I just I have a bunch of stuff, uh, especially drinks. Now I've really built up quite the, uh, the cache of drinks. I've got two here that I'm also gonna try. Um, th this is the yeah. This is the only the second. Uh, there's only two alcoholic ones, including this one. So. And the other one is going to be for a much later episode when I have, like, the, the inclination to really do it the way I want, so. That is an interesting smell, because at first I got the pineapple, and then immediately I got the pale ale smell. Like, yeah. I mean, like, I will say, based off the smell, I can maybe see this being good, because, like, pale ale has kind of a sourness to it. And maybe the pineapple will like kind of offset that. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah, I mean. I don't get a ton of pineapple flavor, uh, but I do kind of think that it does sort of what I was saying. I think it kind of mutes some of that, like, the sour kind of bitterness that uh, pale ales tend to have. Because, like, it, you know, and this might change the more you drink, because, you know, to anybody, at least in my experience, the, the further down the can or the bottle you go, the stronger the flavor you get. Uh, I'm not going to drink this all, uh on camera, though I will finish it, and I actually have three others, because it came in a four-pack. Um, they will all get drunk at some point. Um, drink, ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's smooth. Uh, I don't get that, like, hit of, like, just bitterness that like I don't like that generally like bitterness can be an okay flavor if you use it the right way I generally am not huge on it when it when a beer is 
the two bitter. Um, I mean, there's kind of like a very mild uh, pineapple taste. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely there. Um, and like I said, I'm not like a huge drinking guy, so like, I'm sure there's people out there who could like drink this and be like, oh, you could taste the bouquet and the location of the pineapples, you know, clearly cultivated from, yeah, no, I'm not that guy. Um, and if I were, it certainly wouldn't be for beer. Um, but no, I will say that is perfectly drinkable for me. Um, and that's actually a pretty good compliment, like, because again, I'm not really typically a beer guy, um, but that, with the way the flavors kind of work, again, it kind of mutes some of the, the, uh, the aspects that I don't really like too much when I'm drinking beer, um, and it's, like I said, it's really smooth. Yeah, I mean, and I will say, as I'm drinking more than Ah, uh, it's a little bit more uh, flavorful. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the flavor itself is decent enough. Uh, it definitely tastes like a pale ale. You know, even for me, I, I can tell you that. Um, how does it compare to other pale ales? I genuinely, I don't, yeah. I can really only, like I said, I mean, I can really only base it off of, like, the two that have been memorable to me. Uh, for positive reasons, um, one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and it was the one that I got a little tipsy on, I believe it was Three Floyds, uh, Arctic Panzerwolf, which I got because the name was badass, um, and, uh, and that one actually tasted pretty good for, like, a pale ale, um, if it was the one that I'm thinking of, and then, like I said, the other one was, uh, the one that my dad's friend made. Um, I, I mean, I guess, you know, it, it does its job and it doesn't, it's not offensive to me. And like I said, as someone who, who enjoys, or who doesn't generally enjoy, uh, uh, beer that much. Again, it's like a social drink for me. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, is it something that I'm going to, like, gleefully chug down? No. Uh, you know, but, like, I, I will kind of nurse this, uh, you know, now, especially now that it's open, um, you know, throughout the course of the day or whatever. Uh, and, you know, and I'll do so, and it'll be fine. Definitely wouldn't be a drink that I would grab just for the hell of it, but if I were out someplace and drinks were being served and this were one of the options, I could grab this and be perfectly okay with, you know, having one of these or two of these, uh, you know, over the course of the night, um, if that was what was available. So, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll give it to them. Get good on uh, uh, Pipeworks Brewing Co. I, you know, I don't know if, excuse me, sorry. I don't know if having my endorsement of your product, uh, under these circumstances, is, like, the highest of compliments, because, again, I'm not really, like, a beer guy. I know I've said that a few times now. Um, but you made a beer that a guy who's not typically a beer guy can drink and be perfectly okay with. So take that for what you will. Uh, you know, if you're hoity-toity beer person, maybe it won't be for you, or maybe it will. I really don't fucking know. Uh, but like I said, you don't, my only disappointment is that I don't really get a lot of the, the pineapple, so, but it's, it's a beer with some pineapple versus, like, trying to be, you know, like a hard lemonade type of thing, so, um, yeah, perfectly okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sign off, folks, uh, and I like to sign off on a positive note. What note is that? Well, it's got five, count them five, uh, notes that form a, symphony of positivity yeah there we go uh so no matter what you're doing where you're at um whether you're drinking some craft uh you know beer stuff or not or whatever 
Uh, have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, great rest of your month, great rest of your year, great rest of your whole goddamn life, folks. Uh, you know, just do what you do, keep kicking that ass, uh, you know, at the very least, try not to be a dick. I think that's pretty easy to do. Um, and then the other thing that I like to do is I like to sign off a little way. Uh, if, for whatever reason, you want to keep watching me do these things, or I just try stuff, why not, I guess? Um, there's worse stuff to watch so, wor there's worse stuff to watch on the internet than what I produce. There you go. There's your reasoning. Um, I just need you to do two things for me. Number one, watch the video. Number two, do the thing. Um, and yeah, folks, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sign off here. I've got a few more things I'm gonna do in this batch, and then uh, we're gonna get to doing with the rest of the day. Bye!